And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Rafael Devers. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, one one. you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. And a 1-1. One -one. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, as hot hitting continues, he's been getting great Not results exactly. lately. Showed a the willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't junior. get jumpy, didn't try to Tommy pull the Nero. ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Next to hit, That's Junior Caminero. On one. Line drive to short and caught. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. One guy swinging a hot bat recently, Taylor Walls. And boom, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. Yandy right. Diaz in the box now. No balls and a strike. Most hitters are looking for a first pitch fastball. You're not really timed up for a changeup. So if it's well located by the pitcher, he can get strike one. And that gets down for a base hit. The second base. So first and second with one gone. Brandon Lau now at the plate. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. That catches the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Two on, one out. Well struck deep right field. Went back and out of here. A gigantic blast. His 52nd home run of the season. It's 3-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boo. We knew it wasn't coming back. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Ryan Noda, the next to hit. And yeah. immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed oh, hitter. Already three runs across in the frame, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. In the air, out towards right center. Rafaela makes a move towards the gap. Makes the grab on the run. Two away. Batting fifth, the left fielder, number 10. This is Dylan, Dylan Carlson. Carlson. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. And first offering is fouled off. Two gone, base is empty, but three runs across here in game one of this three-game set. That's in there. And that's strike two. Straight. 
Now fly ball to right center. O'Neal getting an angle on it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Three-run bomb for Tampa Bay. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Fenway, and on the hill in this one, Shane Baz. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Oh, he's been nearly untouchable. Kind of a silent assassin out there. Just goes to work, and guys look up. It's deep into the ball game, and they haven't been able to scratch anything off of this guy. So look for him to do the same thing today. Maybe go the distance. Maybe hand it over to the bullpen at the end and try to get that W. And the 1-0. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to first, and O'Neill is retired. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. Some power, but low on base and ranking towards the bottom in runs per game. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slug and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Vaughn Grissom stands in now and watches strike one. Fastball for a strike. And a count is 0-2. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up. He can go away. He can add velocity. He can subtract. Diaz takes it to the bag. Two up, two down. No left fielder. Masataka. At the play. Masataka Yoshida. And Singy, we already know he's going to finish the season with a new career high at home runs. And oh. the slider just misses. Oh. So two balls and no strikes. Two outs. Three and that outs. one moves his feet. Bounce to the right side. Diaz steps on the bag. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston. They trail it here, three nothing. Back now at Venway. All set for the start of the inning. Now up for Tampa Bay, Johnny DeLuca. DeLuca. Crawford back to work. DeLuca, 25 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. And a pitch. One ball, one, one way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Ooh. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. <laughs> Got him swinging. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Batting up, the shortstop, Taylor Walls. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Taylor Walls. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Two down, nobody on. Swing it a foul straight back. Oh, and two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two outs. Base is empty. Oh. 
center field. Rafaela has a beat on it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Back here in Lee Boston, gone. here's the third Red baseman, gone. Rafael Devers. The third baseman. Oh, he consistently hits the ball hard. Never. His exit velocity and no. barrel rate near the tops in the what league. At the belt and fires. Huh. In there at the knees for a strike. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy though. Oh. Pitchers they work consistently down okay. around the knees and are able to command their off speed stuff. Tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Left hand batter waits. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Balls it in, and there's one away. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives, and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Now batting Tristan Casas. On the ground, right side, loud. Over to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Second baseman. Ed Manuel. Valdez. Ed Manuel Valdez. Up next for the Red Sox. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Two outs. Ripped to short. Gathers and throws to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Red Sox go down quietly. They trail in this one, three nothing. Back inside Fenway Park. New inning getting started. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Josh Lowe. Crawford back to work. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Well, these Rays doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Popped up. Grissom sizing this one up, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. The third baseman, number 13, Junior. Now the number Caminero. two hitter, Junior Caminero. He's 0 for 1. Right through there for a strike. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. That one the other way, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. There's the strike. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one missed. And there's a foul ball. Man at second. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Caminero around third. Throws to second. And he's out easily. But one run is in to score. Next to bat will be the Rays four hitter. Brandon Lau. Ball one there. One ball. No strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a swing and a drive. 
That's back there. That one is gone. Another homer. His 53rd homer of the year. It's five zip. So the streak stays alive. His fourth straight game with a home run. Boog, that's like a cycle of home runs, and I know how much you love the cycle. He's absolutely punishing mistakes right now. He can't miss. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So two away with nobody on. Ryan Noda getting ready to hit. There's a strike. No ball, one strike. Next offering in there for a strike. No balls, two strikes. And yeah, that's outside. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. On the ground, Valdez. And that is that. They put two on the board on three hits, including the home run. No errors, no one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's the rookie DH, Nico Cavadas. The pitch. And that's outside. And that is ball one. There's a strike. One and one. Check swing and he held up. And a good eye there. 3 1 is on the way. Fastball for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, it should be a good outing for him. Here comes a pitch. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Well, he froze him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of bowling when you think the ball is going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Here's Reese McGuire. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One out, base is empty. Fly ball to right. Low pulls it down, and there's two gone. Batting ninth, the center fielder. Two Today. outs, base is empty. Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. That one finds the zone. Going one. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Down in order, go the Red Sox. It's 5-0. Back in Boston, digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Carlson. The wind of the pitch. Oh. Up and in, ball one. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch hey. in the corner by Tom Brodansky. One the ball. Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college no. and going to Fenway. Oh. That pitch just misses the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes. Got him looking for the K. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. DeLuca takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as 
moments at Fenway Park? Wow, you know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won now that ball it. game. Gotcha. And then Sunday, Winning. they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. Pinto in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike first signs of bullpen movement here in the early going Lucas Giolito appears to be getting loose Walter getting loose as well line drive base hit and that keeps the inning alive. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. And stepping in for the Rays, Taylor Walls. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 1. Riding to the plate. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. One and two. ball one. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. And that one lifted in the air center field. Squeezes it. And that is that. One left for Tampa as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Back here at Fenway, ready to go, ready to go for well, the last half of the down. inning. And now, the right Tyler O'Neill, the right-hander back to work. Oh, Bounce to third. In plenty of time to first, one up, one down. Number five, shortstop. Here's the shortstop at the play. Vaughn Grissom grounded out his first time. Outside low, 1 and 0. Oh. Right through there for a strike. In there. And so now 1 and 2. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. DeLuca pulls that one down, 2 down. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Yoshida at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in. You see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for him. And the throw to first is there to put an end to the inning. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there and it stuck. That was pretty cool. Lucas Giolito on a pitch out of the pen here. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but... He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. So the batting order turns over. Josh Lowe digs in now. The pitch. And that drops in for a strike. Lowe, 26 years old. What a run over the last 10 as he's hitting over 400 during that span. That one finds the zone. Oh, a two now. That to right. O'Neill drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Junior. Now up for Caminero. Tampa Bay. Junior Caminero. One for two. Huh. And that's in there for strike one. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. 
Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Right through there for a strike. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Man at second. Got him looking. Fastball at the letters. Throws him for strike three. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. So clutch. You could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. And it's fouled away. High fly ball out towards left field. Way back there. Didn't quite have enough. Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Bottom of the inning, Leading stepping off. in the Leading long ball threat, ball. Rafael Devers. Third baseman. Rafael. And that's in the dirt. You know, these Red Sox just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt. But it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. So now one and two. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. And it finds its way through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Everything came together for him. I really like that no, swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Casas batting for the second time, and that's strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Devers gets his lead at first with nobody out. Ground ball left side could be two. Feed to second, that's one. Relay to first, double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, and Manuel Valdez. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good... Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top six. Now it's the DH. Ryan, Ryan Noda. Noda. Giolito back to work. That Ryan, pitch move. gets the inside corner. 0-1. Giolito, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. And it gets down for a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to play lately. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So up next, Dylan Carlson. There's a strike. Out to center. Should have this one. Makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batting the center fielder, Johnny DeLuca. Johnny DeLuca next to hit for the Rays. And a 
breaking ball drops in for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. This one high in the air to left center. Yoshida makes the grab for the second out. The batter, the catcher, Renee Pinto. Man at first, and now the catcher comes up to him. Renee Pinto. That one finds the zone, oh, and, and it's 0-1. Pinto tries to hold up, appeal to first. Nope, he held back. Two outs. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field, and that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Stepping in, Taylor Walls. And that drops in for a strike. Noda over at second. Pinto at first. Two out of the inning. Hit in the air. Right field. O'Neill drifts towards it. Makes the grab and that's the inning. So they strand a pair. Seven, eight, nine. Two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox nothing. Back here at Fenway Leading Park off. and now Nico Cavadas. The designated hitter. And here it comes. Nico. And Good. first offering is fouled off. Fastball for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Right through there, got him. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. Three. He can do whatever he wants with the three. baseball right now. Mark Reese McGuire Wire. up next for the Red Sox. Hey. In for a strike, going one. The Rays leading by five here in the bottom of the sixth. And, and downstairs. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Keep and up. another ball. And that skips in the dirt. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And not close, easy take ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And stepping in now for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. His first at bat was a strikeout. Rafaela. Pitch misses oh, inside. Ball one. What a note. Right through there for a strike. Oh, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected. And the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Man at first, one away. Ground ball right side. That's a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Back to the top of the lineup. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. On the ground, two ball. And that chance handled. Goes to second. There. Safe there. Yeah. So the bases are loaded here. One man gone. 
And the batter will be the shortstop. Vaughn Grissom. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Tonight his slider has been really impressive. I mean tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. And that one fouled off. On the ground could be two. One at second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Now it's going to be Josh Lowe. And the pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Josh Winkowski preparing to come on if needed. Bernardino, the lefty, warming up as well. Yo one. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind and the pitch. And it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The third baseman, number 13. Now the third baseman, Junior Camonero. Fastball in for a strike. 0-1. Low on at first, nobody out. And that one ripped to left and foul ball. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Oh. And a pitch is outside, ball one. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Yoshida brings it in. Out. Number two just pulled off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So now it's the four hole hitter Brandon Lau. He's got a couple homers already so can he possibly do it again. Come on man of course he can those two he hit were legit and he looks pretty locked in right now. At the Dish. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That one missed one. by a lot. And a count even one and one. Right-handed reliever. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Another big game. He's looking pretty much unstoppable at the plate. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Now a chance for Ryan Noda. In the air, out towards left center. Rafaela pulls it in on the run. So the Rays strand a pair, but they hold a 5-0 lead. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Javier Assad. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters.
three, four, Leading five due up for the, the home team. Dog. Masataka no Yoshida fielder. now at the plate. Masataka. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Next offering is in oh, for a strike. Oh, Just oh. misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty delivers. Oh, and that one's a little bit low. And the count is two and two. Kicks and deals. To the right side. Lau. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, okay. and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync, and the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something no, he could handle. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. That one ripped, but foul. The Rays leading by five here at the bottom of the seven. Popped up left side. Caminero in position. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting the second baseman, Ed Manuel Valdez. Man at first, Ed Manuel Valdez up next for the Red Sox. And a foul ball. And he deals. Oh. One ball, one strike. There's a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. At the belt and fires. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with now two away. Well, the last ten games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls, so a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Gavadas in the box now. No balls and a strike. These fans, they are... Ready to cheer about something. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it bangs off the monster. One run is in around third. The relay. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. But they push across one run. Three hits. No errors. And a runner left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox one. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Josh Winkowski. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. And the batter now, Dylan Carlson. That one finds the zone. Going one. Winkowski, a 6-4 righty. He features a sinker, a cutter, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. And that's in there at the knees. <laughs> and
and a pitch. Ball one. One ball. Two strikes. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Stays alive. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Now batting, the center fielder. So a man aboard, DeLuca. and the batter now, Johnny DeLuca. On the ground to third, Devers. There's one. Now back. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. First pitch misses. Action in the pen down there. Number 63 getting loose out there. And the right hander deals. Pitch is in there. One ball, one strike. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sizes this one up. And there are two down. Man at first. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. Three flyouts already. He's 0 for 3. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Right there, he does a great job oh, of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of no. hits there. No. So the Rays batting order turns over. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Josh Lowe. That yeah, one's cool. in there on one. The Rays trying to break this one open. And we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Pulls it in to end the inning. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Reese McGuire. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field, and it's off the wall. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Zidane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. Right through there for a strike. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Low ranging after it. And there's one down. So the Red Sox now lineup that, turns like over. Peter. Here's Tyler O'Neill. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and one. That one called just inside, I think. And on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an exploit. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Pops over the wall. And that's an automatic double. As a run scores. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. 
Packers. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. O'Neal leads off second with one gone in the inning. Nice grab. The throw, and they get the out. A couple of pitches and a quick out. The left fielder, number Masataka seven. Yoshida will hit next. Three ground outs already. He's 0 for 3. First offering, and it just misses. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Carlson makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Ninth inning coming up. It's the race. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Number 63. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And stepping in for the Rays, Junior Caminero. And a pitch. That's in there. It's 0-1. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. They had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, now known for using the entire three. field. Just Young couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And it's off the green monster. Around first and hustling for second. Pulls in with a double. Third hit for him today. Waste no time there. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Man at second with one away. Brandon Lau next to hit for the Rays. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. One out and the runner at second here at the top of the ninth. And there's a ball. And that's in for a strike. That one not close. Now two and two. And it's second. In the air, center field. And there's two down. So, a man now aboard. Back. And the now division. here is Ryan Noda. Noda. Just oh, missed. Ball. Two outs and one in scoring position. Out of line, out towards center. Rafaela tracks it down for the out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. <laughs> Onto the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox two. Bottom of the nine. Yeah. Off for the Red Sox. A new the arm into baseman. the game, the righty, Rafael. Kevin Kelly. And if you Never. dig into his walk rate, now, his numbers are really today. impressive. He's Number really 49. filled up the strike zone this Kevin. season, so these batters Kelly. better be ready to swing the bats. And oh. that's in there at the knees. Swing and a miss oh, as he was out front that time. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. He found a way to just get it by him. One down, base is empty. And that one is lifted in the air on the move to the gap. Hauls it in for the out. So digging in, and Manuel Valdez. One for three. Chopper right side. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Rays have won four in a row. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the big